Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Fagan Miller podcast. I never thought the day I'd see sport and business discussed on the same platform. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight I have my first guest. It's not the man to my left, but it is the person who I said I'm going to have as my first guest in the absence of last week. It is my wife, Kim Miller. There's no place to hide, unfortunately. <laughs> there's, there's no place to hide. Good evening, ma'am. How was your day? It was good, thank you. How were you? I was good. You saw my whole day. Mm. Um, Did I? No, I didn't to school today. Yes, and then when you came home, and we can speak about not pressing um, order uh, when you order uh, food. So uh, that was an incident this evening, which we will go into a further discussion. When you say you press order on the delivery, and then you go to go do your face, (laughs) but the facial, and you come back two hours later, and the whole house is angry. Now we know if we have hungry and angry together, and you had to put that in your bio. Uh. But when she came home, we were angry. Nobody, were. nobody spoke to her until we ate. Yeah. And then we came back to normal. So as we do, before I throw uh, Kim under the bus, I need to read her bio. So whoever comes on here, I'm always going to generate you a potent bio on ChatGPT. Again, I take you what you give me, and I throw it onto the chatbot, and boom, it produces this beautiful thing. But you had a, a very short bio. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. It's here. All right. So according to Kim, myself, and ChatGPT AI, this is what uh, your biography is. So Kim Miller believes that we all are responsible for our own personal growth and development. After her mother's divorce to her dad at age two, many things passed through her eyes as she moved every two years of her childhood with a strong mother by her side. One thing that stuck out to her was the necessity of ending the vicious cycle of patriarchal society and empowering women to find their strength within. She discovered that it was crucial to be willing to listen, learn and change in order to bring about change and a better society. Now she advocates daily to this. Kim earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology and Language and Communication from University of the Western Cape. During her study, she volunteered at orphanages for the chronically ill children, homeless shelters and youth centers in her spare time and went on summer and winter break. Her enthusiasm for making children feel loved and supported in areas where they did not feel worthy was palpable. She then (laughs) continued her studies and earned a postgraduate diploma in education honors. She envisioned starting her own educational practice in mental wellness after gaining some experience with various types of children from rural to more affluent areas. Kim began a teaching career in 2013. Although she loved teaching, something still was lacking. She was, able to be a su- she was able to be a support structure for girls, in particular who had social difficulties, poor academic performance, abusive backgrounds and other problems that adolescents face as they grow up. She was deeply committed to assisting young girls in creating the lives they desired by increasing their self-awareness, self-esteem, and self-confidence through the regular consultations and interactions during the school day. Kim is an advocate for women's empowerment, and she continues to volunteer outside of her working hours because she realized how much of an impact one person can have on the life of another, which inspired her. She believed that when women are at their best, they can be so much more than just a mother, a wife, or a worker. They can indeed be champions for the causes they care about, making the world a better place for everyone who shares their values. In 2020, she made the decision to leave the government's education system and start business, life, academics, and sports coaching, BLASK. BLASK was created to offer evolutionary education because it is important for children to understand how we got to where we are today and how they can continue to improve the world around them. We also believe that she also believed that emotional intelligence is an important part of the learning process and that children should be encouraged to develop their emotional intelligence as well as their academic skills so that they can be confident and successful in life. 
She started a support group for young girls at Blask with a goal to instill a growth mindset, the belief that the edu that their intelligence and talents are not fixed and they can improve with time and effort and that the mistakes can be used to learn and grow. She encouraged them to view their failures as an opportunity to improve rather than something shameful or embarrassing. Simultaneously, she is working on increasing her own self-esteem so that she can serve as an example for these young girls, someone who believes in herself regardless of what others think or say about her abilities. A goal is to never tell these girls what to do or how to feel. Rather, she wants them to understand that it's okay if they don't know everything right away. Their options are limitless. Short version. Kim Miller is a mother, a teacher, and a young girl's biggest cheerleader. She loves to learn and teach and believes in the power of encouragement. She's optimistic and always looks out for the ways to improve herself and her surroundings. <laughs> Hey, Bruce, and the girls are quiet. Nah, and again, <laughs> people, if you don't have a bio that you can uh. put together on the chat GPT, um, I think I took all the words out of your mouth. Mm. It's just it's in a voice note, and we create a bio. So uh, we are here this evening to speak about support structures and systems. How did you feel about your bio? Um, impressed. Anything? It was good. No. I, it's true, everything. I just don't think I would have said it in such beautiful words. Mm. But it's, it's, it's a good thing to have. And thank you for reading it, actually. Ah, <laughs> Although, like, why did you have to change your tone? You like must. you're mocking me at the end. Yes, the short bio. Look, it's not a mock tone. You it is a mock tone. Look, the, the, another thing we've, we found out, the way you read mm -hmm. to your child is very important. Like, I'm a badass reader, bro. <laughs> like, I read the Gruffalo, like, no, I think I read the Gruffalo better than the people on the Gruffalo. No, you, that is true. And, and I mean, you obviously side with that because I read mm -hmm. the, like, Ellie's come to me now, you know you want that, that enthusiasm in the reading. I also read with expression, Fagan. But you have now the teacher expression one. That's it. That's not that action vibe in. Mm, okay. As I like where your bio says that you are the last part. And the last part is the best part because that's where we are now. Mm. Increasing your own self-esteem and serving as an example. Um, I think the other day when you were dancing in front of the children. Did you not hear my singing? <laughs> oh, Maybe you should give him a background. Yes, I understand. <laughs> like, how do you not sing, man? Like, him saying, I've never so heard. I don't like to sing. I um, not don't like to sing. I probably do like to sing. I just Fagan makes fun of me. I could so, say make fun of you. So when I <laughs> so I used to mime my whole life of us being together. So whenever yeah. I see him, then I just mime and Jemima. pretend. Yeah, he calls me Jemima. Yeah. Um, but now that we have um, Blast, oh well, not now, but. Since we had Alex, because yeah. you always used to ask me, when am I going to sing? So I said, I'll sing when we have a child. Uh -huh. And it came true, actually, because I had to sing lullabies and whatever else. I must take note properly. And I think you must do me like a proper karaoke spec. I want to hear the full voice. Now, now why must you say that? Because now I feel I want to be judged. But you didn't say dear to the girls that you must do stuff in the right away. Yes, but you don't need to, I, I don't know. Anyway. But that's also why I'm here, so that I can get yes. over. And that's where I was getting to. This yeah. isn't the main thing. Yeah. In front mm. of the camera. Don't want to be in front of the camera. I am the behind the scenes. You don't need to see me. Uh, Nantel, are you a behind the scenes guy all the time? Or do you, are you an MC spec or so? Um, I've got the face for, for in front of camera, definitely. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, I fully agree. But I, 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 I prefer um, being the Quincy Jones Oh. Not the Michael Jackson. Oh, mm -hmm. Throwing that analogy out there. Now. I'm Michael, bro. Okay, for the Michael, <laughs> we I'm all okay. know that. I don't go go and see. And we're looking, we're looking at the two kids and we're, like, we're looking at Alex and Emily and they look like both is going to be two Michael Jacksons. Mm, for sure. And I'll encourage it. Yeah, the Michael Jackson works. Mm -hmm. So um, I was going to take you through a couple of my segments this evening. And I have a new one and I want to start there. Oh it's called gosh. the new segment, Nendel. The quote book. Talk you, that talk. Talk that talk. 
<laughs> I'm going to give you some quotes and then we'll just reinvigorate the quotes into what we are speaking about, which is what I want to touch on the support system. Mm-hmm. Like you've been, uh, how long we started to date in? 2017. No. Wow. Oh my gosh, no. Is it now that day? 2007. 2007. So we dated yeah. for 10 years and then... In the 10th year we got married. In the 10th year we got married. So yeah. very long. And then Alex in the 11th year? Yeah. No, in the, yeah, in yes. the 11th year. And... Emily in the 13th year. Is it so long? I oh, I must know you long already. 7, 4, 7, 14. Yeah, somewhere there. We always forget our, uh, we always forget anniversaries and stuff. Mm. Yeah, like we we not so hard still on that. Mm-mm. The thing is too much to remember, mm. so we it's don't do Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Mm. Like we already put ourselves so much, pre- under so much other pressure, so we leave the. I think last year we remembered, or I remembered our anniversary like two days later. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when I sent. And it was a milestone one. You know what I do, um, just so by the way, my wife always forgets <laughs> so the anniversary. So I would wake <laughs> up and I would just go to Tony Tony Tone on, on YouTube. It's our and I just play it and I just leave it. And I'll repeat playing it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll play it on the repeat uh. till she gets, oh, wait, wait, what date is it? <laughs> yeah, that's how I get that. Oh, Nental, yeah. uh, plus romantic. I like mm. that. I like that. And we will speak about how I uh, encountered this young female here in front of me. Also, hopeless romantic, sending notes down the uh, road to the lecture. I was mm. actually telling... I actually still have our notes. It's very silly, though. Like, if I read it now, I'm like, what? Did you fall for this? Survival, survival, <laughs> bro. I'm telling the guys, to all the guys out there, the cheesiness still works. Mm. Please, Owens, write the letter. I used all the Alicia Keys lyrics. Kim only now... I had to tell Kim so four or five later, years later. It wasn't my words. Mm. Alicia Keys speak. But it works, gentlemen, um, the cheesiness. So back to my quote, but all the quotes is all around so, uh, support. Because that's what you became, the support. You allowed me, when you met me, I was playing football. And then I was allowed to chase the football dream for 10 years. My word. And then I got a taste of it. And then eventually, did you, did you say the words like, I think you must... No, I decided, no. Um, like I'm going to stop now, like it's too much. With the, with the, when I was at Santos Hall. Yeah. I think when they didn't offer you that, um, oh, yes. that NFD, then you were just like, no, man, Aye. no one appreciates right. me. So I need to move on. Yeah. And also I started teaching. So I the, salary, the salary difference, you know. Um, and Zach wearing the, wearing the shorts yeah, in the it, relationship. It wasn't a thing. I know it's not a thing, but still, yeah. it's, a, it's a manly man. We're going to speak about patriarchal later, but you yeah. know. But, um, no, but we were never going to buy a house with that. No, no definitely not. Exactly. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say now? It was, uh, okay, now yeah, you're right here. How much was it? <laughs> say now how much I got paid there. By so say. the reason why I know is because I used to handle Fagan's money from the get-go. Yes. So, um, not for anything, just for everything. Um, I still have money to go out, people. Yes, no, so, so this is what I used to do. Don't I used worry. to take Fagan's money and then I used to give him like a, an allowance type of thing. It works, um, brothers. It works, brothers. Yeah, and then we just, and then I just manage his money. That's all I used to do and I still do it. And it worked. Yeah, so no, that was I, fine. I think it's just to be, be honest. Like, I think there's men that also you better maybe at money. I mm. was just honest with myself, like, nah. I, Yes, because I, th- I, I actually tried it one day, Nantel. I tried this one day. I gave him all the money. And a week later, we had no money. And I was like, what is going on? Like, it was a liquor week, though. Yeah, but <laughs> what about the rest of the month? Yeah, so... We didn't, okay, I don't know. We need to discuss yeah. the terms. You must give me terms anyway, and stuff. How long the stuff No, but last. I still don't do it. Like, I am very skeptical about... You still don't... You don't know your limits. So, and it's like, uh, yeah. It's, yeah. And it's okay because that's who you are. Correct. Yeah. I'm a giver. Yeah, he is a giver. Not that I'm not a giver. Yes. Um, I also like to give, but I, I like to have first. Yes. So. Maybe you a give backer. Uh, uh, so I collect the money from everybody and give it to, <laughs> give it to the other people. <laughs> uh, you collect it and then give. Text me and speak. Uh. So, um, first quote I got here. 
as uh, from the zig brother zig zig because we're reading uh, zig zig me and kim at the moment it's actually changing our parenting mm. a lot um so yeah first one simple one surround yourself with people who are going to lift you higher what does that quote say to you in our support system where we are now Say so read it again, sorry. Surround yourself with people who are going to lift you higher. So I'll give you a point of departure. Um, we work with a lot of children and we try to make them all be friends. Yeah. Why? Um, because they are good children and they, we want them to have a proper mindset um, different to the world out there. So, um, yeah. But, but it's not possible because everybody is on different levels. Um, we can also see now, like the students that we had to the students that we have right now, um, there's a big difference between the two. But the children that are starting with us now, they will get to the point of. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so surround yourself by people. Who loves you higher. Who loves you higher. And that's where we are also at. Yes. Like we also, um, we don't really have um, a lot of our friends around us anymore not that I, not i don't want to i don't know where you uh, that's also that, and that's where yeah. you get to that age where you so like, like the friends thing is like a loose thing so we are, i'm asking my mom smart to put the means in the in like a, in a three-year gap like you said the 2017 people i don't know so i say. used to have different kinds of friends i used to have my clubbing friends my really? movie friends my um my movie friends yeah Oh, dinner, we went for dinner, those kind of friends. Not dinner. Not dinner, oh my gosh. Okay. It's dinner, it's dinner, not dinner. Do you okay. say dinner? No. It's dinner, eh? D dinner sound like dinners. Exactly, what the hell is dinner? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, um, yeah, so, but now it's like, I think, I don't know, I don't know how to not make so it sound go. bad. Like, so just go, just go. So, um, we have different friends. Yeah, and and I, and all different friends cater for different needs. Yes, law of navigation. Yeah, so um, and so with the support structure now, I only have a certain click that I will be around. Click. Would you say click? A cl. <laughs> yeah, click is too big. A, a cl. I think it becomes like a, <laughs> no, nah, you don't have clicks. Man. No, no, no. I think click. it becomes. But I mean, like, like yeah. yeah. So I only have a certain out of all the friends that I have. I only have, I only go to one or two of them as a um, support. As a support, yes. Yeah, because the love to eye is important. I think you, at the, you get to the age where you don't want to be questioned with what you're doing. Mm, sure. So, so yeah. I, for me, it's like not, and you can question, boom, you can have your question, you can ask a question, but for, for and where we are is that you can't, uh, you can question, this is what I always say now. Mm. You must come with informed decision. Don't come to me with a guess. Mm -hmm. So if you come to me and you say, for example, with what we do in education, it's so broad. You someone say, why don't you do this with the children? And then I go, where did you hear that? Why do you think it would work? So that's where we are. It's that question, man. If you're going to question it, come with informed content because we've taken the time out to actually get the informed content. Mm. Next quote, favorites, John C. Maxwell. Here's a potent one. Motivation gets you going, but your habits get you there. Oh, goodness. I just hear you in my ear all the time. Habits, 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 habits. But um, uh, it's definitely the truth. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I even think of like the, the to-do list that you have on our fridge, that's a habit thing that you must constantly be reminded of, right? Yeah, um, simple things. Yeah. Um, like you always say that you're not a motivational speaker, you are an educational speaker, speaker right? Because you educate them and you constantly, like motivational speakers, what do they do? They just come once and then they motivate you for that one time and then they're gone, <sighs> right? So um, you have to have good habits, mm. but it's difficult. It's yeah. difficult. I've Unless you have a support structure that reminds you all the time that you haven't done the dishes or you haven't done whatever, um, or even the list on the fridge, like I say, to remind you to do what you need to do. I didn't even, even look like this week, I probably, I think I went for the one mop. I see you washed up, no? But last week I was in, 
So the key for me is the remember that one master class you're watching, and they say don't miss, just miss one day. Mm. Mm. So, but the key is, and like when you are reading that book, and you go back always. So you read forward, but you go back because you missed the day, mm. instead of just going, staying, forward. going forward for where yes. you are. Um, so yeah, that becomes important there. Also with that, surround yourself with keep going, yes. even though because you I think you had better habits to even be at the further place. No, definitely. Yeah. Like. I said, when did I forget? I forgot to file it on another day. And I mean, that's again, so I mean, your message was we need to sort everything out. Yes, so we can. always get to a point of getting everything in order and then getting everything ready. Yeah. Again. And I think that's always been the case of understanding where you are right now and then making an actionable step. What's next? Why did you again decide after the psychology thing to go study PGCE now again? Um, cause I realized that studying to become a psychologist is going to take seven, eight years. And mm. I was like, hell no, oh. that's not going to work. But I also, I, by the time I was, if I had to get my honors or what the doctor, doctor did, mm. um, I would have been 20 odd and no adult would want to come to a 20 odd year old psychologist. Oh. So that didn't have worked out. Um, so I would have had to get, get more experience and all of that. And then I decided I was going to go into teaching because I thought get experience in teaching, then do educational psychology and work with the children. And that's where I wanted to go. So oh, yeah, no, um, yeah. that was the route. Yeah, I just had to rekindle that thought mm. about why I went to go. Because we were like, what now? Because mm. I was starting, I know I had a year Because what so can you do with a BA degree? You can do nothing. Yeah. You can, what can yeah. you do with that? Let's just be honest to all the BA people out there. Yeah. You look here. Find something now already while you're busy with your BA that you can do something with your BA. There is a lot you can do. There's nothing you can do. However, find out now. Mm. Find out quick. That's a principle. I would rather run a thousand miles in the wrong direction than stand still. Yeah. Because I'd rather find out quick. But standing still is a big problem. Um, and that's where the support, because I studied, 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 forced to go study, finish, and then... Soccer was like, what are you going to do now? Are you going to play for the little money? And then... But I enjoyed it, actually. Like, every day I used to be... Um, I used to be at every game. Oh, yes. Literally every single game. Um, if you don't come, watch you. Yeah. I was the... Most, not most trainings. No, I wasn't there for no, training. No, you just thought it was training. training. But every game I was there, um, unless you played away. You, and it was like a friendly... Okay, it's a quite team friendly and then you want to come watch also because mm. you know it's going to be and then you like Kim fell in love with the chirps and the chops and the people and the yeah there was even a time where I like there were some people that used to know me well not know me but know that I was Fagan's girlfriend and then um, I would come with my hoodie because they used to chirp him on other levels like he was they used to say horrible stuff about him and then I would just sit with my hoodie put my sunglasses on and just no one needs to see who I am but I wanted also hear um, what it is that they were saying about him, so I can tell him afterwards. <laughs> but it was you horrible, was, horrible people. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> she knows what you say. That's why you see. Yeah. I walk past you guys on the field now, and it's like, yeah. Mm, Greet me now, na. But so it was admirable because you would hear all these negative things, but you'd still keep going. So that was something really I, I enjoyed watching that. Um, yeah. What were we talking about now? So. I used to be at every game. Yeah, Support structure. Uh, ah, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, but you but you didn't but okay, your dad played and you knew about soccer, but you that was now in uh, yeah. deep in the game and like coming to the game yes. and seeing like I didn't I didn't even know what the offside was and through watching you I now I think only after like the fifth year uh -huh. I realized, okay, this is what an offside is and was I could he, identify it. Was he offside the whole time? That's how you know. No, mm. no, no. I can no. I play the offside trap. <laughs> so I'm, I must play center back. So also mm. explaining that this is why this must happen, stepping up. Um, but the other investment in, so just going to that, and I want to give that chirp if she don't support you. Because I meet the boys now, they, and they say, no, I don't want to bring my girlfriend to the field. The other brothers are all going to look at her. Like, oh, my word. Like, that's all, all of them say that. Get over all, yourself. Literally all these boys, all the ladies, and I'm talking 18, 20, 30. I'm not bringing my girlfriend to the field. You're mad. Why? I'm like, how are you not? How does she not come watch you? They didn't know. You know your game must be on a level. Yeah. You can't drop it, no matter what the people say. 
you can't look ugly when you're just dying on the field. Like, yeah. how do you? No, they say they don't. Now you know the means are gonna chirp. I didn't tell them. But I'm not the shouter, so no one will really know also that I'm there. Maybe their girlfriends are shouters. shouters. Mm. That's the problem. No, and, and I think it's the embarrassment mode, the way they explain it. Like, it's not like. Are they embarrassed? I don't know. I think they're good. They're all good players, but like, even you used to listen to this. Kim used to come when I used to sit on the bench. Mm. Cringing there, why must she come on the bench? But there, because you should have played tonight. But it's all right. Because I'm never, ever probably had a. Maybe if I can come to the end, how much times I was angry. I also want to add. So I used to fetch you on a Friday, drop you by your friend, and then the next day, I go home the next day, then I fetch you to take you to train, to soccer, or something like that, eh? Yes. So third... Well, I used to drive you around a lot. But remember what... what so I always say this. This is my story of how I met I, Kim. I was a... Uh, I failed hopelessly at university. We will pull up that results uh, soon when we get the UWS people here. Um, and then the next year, I thought I needed a girlfriend. And then I thought I needed a girlfriend with a car. <laughs> and then I saw a girl walking to a BMW and I thought, no way, that's above my pay grade. No, it's not going to all stars, you'll be never going to happen. And then I saw another girl walking with a friend that I knew and just walking to her, Uno. That's <laughs> like, nah. Uh, uno, see. Nah, I just on the pay grade. No, so that's when she's probably, maybe go to Galaxy, house party. Get easy. you to where yeah, you need to you. be. Plus, I just, so two days of stalking with the brass. Okay, there they park again there. There they walk, poop in. Oh, study the same thing. And then I ended up going to class. And then I found out everybody was lying to me in my first year. To all you Puerto Ricans, you know you were lying to me. You always used to say, class is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. Remember you five minutes late, man. Class is overrated. You can get to work by someone. Not knowing that you must go to the tutorials. Um, and then you blame me for failing. Yeah, but, so then I, in my second year, I don't even think my mom knows this. Um, my second year, <laughs> <laughs> my second year, I failed. Um, I think I told her that... Um, you didn't get, you can't get the results. because No, you no, like... I went on to third year, but I was second, third year. You know that? Oh, that Second, one. third year. You thing. were laughing in class for that. Yeah. To all the UWs, everybody at university, you know what we're talking about. Your second, third year is your first, second year, or your third, second year, your first, second year. Yeah. That's how you talk. <laughs> you, uh, mentally, you very really, really get a person. Ah, it's my third year. Fully. Licht, say licht, man. It's my third, second year. Uh, yeah. so, so I was second, third year. Yeah. But I failed. But um, I met you in your second year. In my second year, yes. Was it second year? Mm-hmm. Because that's the year I failed when I met you. But I only had that subject with you guys. LCS. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was this man one day as a final year. Me and Kimi had the same subject. And the worst thing we did. I'm do still it, upset. That's my only A adversity. So listen to this one. So ladies and gentlemen, and sorry to the UWS people. Like I, when I get my, <laughs> if I get my test paper, then I already decide when I'm sick. <laughs> Because I'll know I'll see you. <laughs> so, I'm done. so again, the reason why is because the subjects are too cooped up together. So I can already go, uh uh, two in one week. Try mm -hmm. small. Then people say, why do you want to do that? You want to extend your exam? We already did a holiday. Mm, you're not on holiday. You're sitting at home like this. You're waiting for a reval. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know if you pass or failed. I'm already now, I'm writing with the reval people. Yeah. Anyway, so I decide. I didn't actually decide yet. So we third year and we were studying and it was, uh, uh, yeah, we were studying together. Worst thing to do mm. because two totally different study styles. The, during the day, I'm a, I do nothing during the day. I can't. Only it. distract me during the day. Whew, you can't say stuff like that. <laughs> you only can distract yourself. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's and okay. then. Uh, <laughs> And then we study the evening and we go to the lecture room to go right. And in front of the door, I decide it's one of those moments. I'm sick. I'm not writing this test. And Kim went to go right. You, you got a reval. Mm -hmm. You got a reval, yeah. I read out the, the paper uh, and I got an A, which is my only A at university. See, it just goes to show people if you're not ready. No, I still do it. But. <laughs> If you're not ready like that, hey, you don't ever walk into a test 
and you don't feel sure. That's a you problem. Never forget that. So um, your university was crazy with the, with with. Uh, so I met you. You <coughs> failed also because of the certain subjects, mm. but you passed other subjects mm-hmm. obviously. Um, and then I went to go work. Yes, in the at call, the call center. center. Oh my word! To all the brothers at the call center, to Brucey the agent, Mr. Mac, and everybody out there. Thanks, brothers. What a life! <laughs> I never knew money like that. And just the, the going out and just the stuff, it was craziness was there. I bought you your first air present with that money. You did. My guest bag. I still have it. A guest bag. Mm. Uh, it was a quality one. That's why it's still alive today. Access Spark Spec. Mm. And then, but that was quiet with that Klom mm. That was when I got that taste. And that's also what I, what I was saying with the footballers now. Like they get that taste of that small little. And then they, and then my done playing. Mm. Now on a, on a, on a five grain. And, I'm, and so it's, it's tough for me, like, they don't know, like, that next step. And again, I go, it's the support structure. When the one boy came to me and he said, look, I can't go to university if I can, I have to go work. Then he must do it. Because the university thing is by having that support structure also. Because you mentioned your mom. I mean, I can also mention my mom. I had to lie there and say, uh, I didn't get the results. But then afterwards showing them what it is. Um... So yeah, that's where we are. And moving on to a last one from a, oh, the easy one. Teamwork makes the dream work. How did we work as a team? Because the support is one thing, but then they work as a team thing. Because now working as a team. It's hard. It's easy. Mm, it's hard. It was easy for you, I think. Maybe. Nah, it's know. not easy to scale you out. Not easy. Oh. Nah. It's difficult for me because I was raised as an only child. So okay, tell them, tell them I want, I want everything. Child. Yes. I want, I want to control everything. I want to do everything myself. I don't want to depend on you. Um, I, um, yeah. So that is really strong traits that I have. So then you come along and you want to work as a team and I don't want to work with you, but not, not because of who you are, just because I want to control. Yeah. Um, so I think that you, showed me some um, some areas where I can't control everything, but you also give me that certain things that I can control, like the money and the, um, like small things, man. What else do you let me control? Or you make me think I control? Mm, uh, no, I want to know you're playing <laughs> those games, you're letting it just off, it's real sad, you're letting it yeah. But you think that I don't know. Yes. So is it not me actually controlling you? So, ladies and gentlemen, you know we've had this discussion before, so just giving you that <laughs> insight. So, I know all of the stuff is going to come out of our mouth. <laughs> but it's very important that we share this because this is us breaking that, that you can share. Yes. I'm even sitting there, I was, when I, before we left, I'm thinking, no, no, you're not coming here and saying we're going to make this the Fagan and Kim show. Relax with your notes. Look, yeah. Because, yeah, I know, some printed notes. Yeah. I'm just The key to his heart, have a paper in front of you with a pen. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna write down, but I brought it with. In every dusty household, they have said this. Ampusus rechta. Waar goed ze aan? Yes, ze gaat nou niks afschrijven, but it's all right. We can make yourself look good there. Eh? Um, so yeah, I was saying teamwork makes the dream work. It's definitely the team thing. That's why it didn't work well in the educational environment mm. because it's staff driven. But I think also with the. With the teamwork, um, it's very important that communication is important because we, I think, just with us being each other's support structure, um, talking about things that we like and what we don't like and you need to become better at it or, um, like, I'm still trying to get him to close the cupboards. I mean, geez, is it like a man thing? Yeah. Um, But anyway, so um, I think just the communication and also being open because I remember when we, I think when we, while we were dating, um, we always said we don't want to be like our parents. Oh. So the lifestyle that they lived, like, yes, we appreciate everything that they've done, but we both come from broken homes. So that is something that we didn't want for our children. Yeah. So um, constantly talking about those things um, is important. And that is how we support each other. 
Yes. Does that make sense? Uh, the communication thing, firstly, yeah. broken homes sound eh. So, uh, I don't, it's like a like, crack in the roof. Like our parents were divorced. There. Yeah, yeah, it's just that. Yeah. Not crack in the roof, broken home. No, but you know what I mean. Isn't I that? know what you mean, but I mean, the viewer check your broken home. Oh, but sorry. anyway, maybe, maybe it sounds more deep for you. Yeah. It's a good deep ethic. Uh. No, I'm just saying you're free to say what you want. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think for me, that is what keeps us going. Yes. Is the talking and the... Um, is the Can calling you out yes. on certain things. Like, I don't like it. Like, I'm a runner. Like, I don't still want to confront things. I go away, calm down, yeah, and cry a lot. And then I come back and I just pretend like everything is okay. But you must talk everything out. Nah. And you talk it now. Mm-hmm. Like, I, yeah. So eventually, gradually, that's obviously the better way to do it. Um, so I am, I think I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting there. I think there. Stephen Futick definitely saved, remember I used to always do the, don't go to bed angry. Angry, yes. Yeah, and Stephen Futick was just like, nah, but if you're so angry, go sleep on the thing. Why you want to still out duck if you're angry? Oh, is that why you leave me now? Yes. <laughs> Stephen Futick. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, and it's your people, you bloody save your life. Yeah. Otherwise, it was, nah, and I'm like, ah. <sighs> Just go sleep. Yeah, for me, if so I just I go sleep, like if I sleep, then I feel better when I wake up. Yeah. That's why I go sleep. But you again, to you, think it's almost as if I'm just. No, but he explained it very well. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Stephen Fudy gave it to us. Uh, very happy about that. But I was going to say, with the communication, is understanding how the receiver receives it. Yes. Because that became more important for us. Yes. So com- understanding communication, send the receiver, but it's. Yes, it's important as how you send, but you must understand how the... It's important how you send, because mm. you must know I can get... Mm. You even... How you You're feel. intense, like you yeah. shout. Not, no, I don't shout, but you just... I don't stop. You a lot, yeah. Yeah, like you even mm. say sometimes you feel sorry for the other people. Mm. I do. Yeah. But, but I, I, I know your intentions are good, so... I just keep quiet and try to listen to the content and not how you bring it across. That's the value. Yes. Uh, I think, and, and that's important when people start deciding, oh, there's value in this. Mm. And that's why, again, every week, if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I prefer to grow. Yeah. So if I'm growing, I'm tired, look, I'm happy, we're moving. Yeah. Um, because we can only learn. Like, again, I say, I couldn't work in the staff environment because of communication and sales like nobody could sell themselves well they were just there for either one thing or nothing mm. and that doesn't sit well with us because if we wanna let's talk about putting people in this team what did oh, i say it gives me anxiety today i told him you know, when i left sure. home i left home with a stress <laughs> dental we are hiring <sighs> soon you're gonna drop that soon you're gonna drop that one dental I think the, the the thing that you probably fear is will the person fit into the culture? Mm. Will the cultures uh, marry? Will, will that that is the mm. yeah? It's it's difficult because I mean what we do is as much as it's fun, it's hard work. Like it's oh, a yes. lot of work, and I don't think that people actually know how much work we put into it. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm going to pop a post out there to show you guys some of our academic sure, reports. I'm sure you say it's hard work, right? But I'm sure you obviously enjoy what you're doing. Yes, yes, yes. But, oh, but, yes. but, but it, 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 you enjoy, it is work, but you enjoy it because, you, because it's, it's a natural thing. Now, the thing is, will the other people have that same nature? Correct. Mm. Yes, well, that's, just, well, that's the thing. Hey, the, the nature is a good one. I don't use it. I'm going to use it more. And it's scary because that, they were like, we were even discussing, like, are we going to give them like a year contract? Because what if we come three months into it and they are not what they sold themselves to be? And then what are we going to do? <coughs> then we have to still deal with them for another nine months. So, um, yeah, it just it's difficult to find. People, even with this, even with us trying to find funding, like we've we've surrounded ourselves, with, we've, we keep on meeting new people, mm. and then we think that that's the people, then it's not, and then through that people we meet new people, and, and then, yeah, and so. That's a really a crazy process, not Oh, this has been a crazy process for three mad. years. Yeah. Like I go, I tell Kim, I want to be a millionaire, and then the, God, and the Lord puts me in front of millionaires. Yeah. 
I want a house in Woodley Road, and then I find out I have a friend that owns a house in Woodley Road. So again, like I say, when you ask for things from the Lord, He's not going to send you the things, He's going to send you the people. Mm. Or the opportunity to become the person that that will get it. Or yeah. will that, is, that I want to say deserve, mm. but yeah. that, that things come towards. Mm. I, get, I get you. So it's not who is, I don't know, I dropped that quote already, but it is not if you are, what is it available for the call? Call for the available spec. <coughs> Pardon me. It's in the Bible. No, no, no. It's a, that's a, I think that's a Brian King maybe. Mm. I must get that one. He doesn't call those who are... Chosen. Not <coughs> chosen. I'm not sure. I will get yeah. it. Don't worry, people. I will come back to it. So again, so now we are, we founded Blask. Business, life, academic, and sports coaching. Working with the kids, empowering. So where do we find ourselves now with teamwork and as a support structure? How has it been working with me? <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> How has it been working with me since you've seen my teaching style? Sure. We have very different teaching styles. Um, but you opened up my mind to being more um, open-minded and being more free. <coughs> I think you were <laughs> open-minded, man. Yeah, not open. Like, um, I think that the, I'm the, very structured, man. Like, I'm very, very structured. Mm. So I don't like to go off. And that's the system. Off the, yes. I don't like to go off what I planned. But now I, I go according to everybody's needs. Mm. And I, I, I'm still trying to, like we always say that we're creating a, an individual curriculum for each child. I am literally doing that right now. Like I have nine students in my junior phase, in my junior school, <coughs> and each child is on a different level. Like I have, um, I have two grade threes, but the one grade three is on like a grade four level, the other grade three is on a grade one level. Um, I have four, three grade fours. The one is on a grade six level and the other one is on a grade three level or something like that. So um, so what I do every day, so as much as I do plan, mm -hmm. um, but as soon as I get to day three, then I have to restructure my whole thing because I realize, okay, you don't understand this, so now I need to go back with you. But the other one understands it, so he can move forward. So now each child has their own curriculum that I need to plan um, weekly for them, which is great. Um, but again, like I say, when it comes to even hiring people, do they understand this concept? Like it's a, mm. it's, whew, it's a lot, but I love it. Yeah. And this is what I want for us. Um, but it's yeah, it, it's and also, but it's like, beneficial to the child also, which I love and I like to see because the child now feels comfortable and it boosts his confidence and all of that. So look, I can't work with the youngsters, with the small ones. Mm. Uh, my patience level and yours under the ground. Um, so <coughs> there's frog in my throat here. So my patience is very much under the ground with the youngsters. So I can. That's why with with the seniors, I say I prepare for the real world. Yes. Because it's extremely fast, it's note-taking, um, which is one of the permanent skills that they need to acquire. It's not looking for resources, but becoming resourceful. <coughs> oh, so, um, yeah, I... Whew, just so I nurture them and I prepare them for Fagan. <coughs> um, so once they get to grade seven, they are now on their own... Um, so now I start preparing them for Fagan, so they mm. do more things online and more things on their phones and things like that. So um, they teach my teaching style towards them is different. It's somewhat closer to how you teach, but mm. not on your level, but um, just to prepare them for um, <coughs> for when they get to you. But I can see because I have one of the students that transitioned from you to me. Yes. And he's adept now. He understands and he also knows. Which I'm so glad for. Like, I, I was worried. Nice, no, right? Mm. But also, if you look at the other students that's there, what's his name is above grade level. Mm. And she's with us from the start. So it works with what we're doing to build it for the child. We also explain to the child how it's built for them. Yeah. So you being grade three and we explain to you why we're doing grade one work, it doesn't take away from the child where they are. Because what do you say to them at school? I'm holding you behind. Mm. So everything we do... I understand, especially with them writing, that they're all on a different level. <coughs> mm. 
And that becomes important for us producing peak performance. Mm. Do you remember that's the, the, the motto? Yes, producing peak performance, the <coughs> three Ps. Yes, the three Ps. Is that still our motto? Yes. Okay. It's the end thereabout. Okay. <laughs> and uh, in the structure that we have, um, oh yes, because we are an hour in. Book review, I can't leave without the book review. Raising positive kids in a negative world. Did you have something you want to share on your pages? No, I just said you had a lot of questions. I just wanted to Oh, so now he's really prepared. How's this one? So we're both reading this book and this book is changing our parenting. Raising kids in a negative world. So if you, were, if you were a big Jordan Peterson fan, before there was Jordan Peterson, there was Zig Ziglar. Telling you like it is, no holds back. There's one chapter when he explains about um, sexual perpetrators. And he says, he starts the thing with, if you are a sexual perpetrator and you are doing da 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 and then the next line says, there's something wrong with you. Like raw. And if this book is not beneficial, he says you can throw it in the trash. So, how's this one? Do as I do. <laughs> I'm glad you brought this one up. Yeah. Because <laughs> I used to say this. Uh. So this is, our, uh, this is parenting changing now. Mm. And like our parenting is changing like heavy because of this book. And he wrote this in 1985, people. So we need to get to the times. A solid foundation for children involves a solid model base. Parents who teach their children honesty but fail to practice it themselves create real problems. <coughs> for example, suppose parents repeatedly tell their children to be truthful, but when the telephone rings, they call out to the child who's answering, tell them I'm not at home. The message is clear to the child. If children are taught to lie for the parents, they are taught to lie to the parents. As another example, suppose parents lecture their children on the importance of obeying the law, yet install a radar detector to the car to evade being stopped for speeding. The message again is clear. If you're going to break the law, don't get caught. Be smart like your dad and your mom. And another, suppose parents instruct their children to be good citizens, yet they cheat on their tax. The message is clear. It's okay to be dishonest when it comes to taxes, man. The government is going to waste their money anyhow. Parents who do this are dishonest and they are teaching their children to be dishonest. Yara. Mm. So me, Fagan, uh, me and Alex goes to the shop and then we buy us a snack. And then I go, shh, shh, shh don't tell mommy. Mm -hmm. so I had to put the stop to that. And then he comes home and he tells me immediately. <laughs> <coughs> and then you say pimp mm. so I mean that's one and I even used to ask, tell that to the players I say don't do as I do do as I say mm. oh when I, when I got to that chapter and I, that's why my whole year is now rather do as I say I was actually do as a, I do do as I do as I do yeah and I try as best as possible for the do as I do like really I still gotta do me like there's a fine line between mm. do as I do and I need to still do me like when I told you I walked off the training now two weeks ago, like I was just boiling so much to, I was going to click someone and then I was like, no, if you're going to do what is going on in your head, you're definitely going to lose all respect from everybody. So I rather just walked off and uh, it was all good. I think it was the first time you ever walked off the field. Is it? No. no? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was. That just shows the maturity heard, level. I've never heard you walk off the field before. Yeah. So definitely maturing. I'm on a sabbatical, which is also a first. Mm. I only train on a Thursday. We, and I don't even, I train, but I also help with the mindset at FN Rangers. So there's a lot I'm doing. But I explained even to the coach and the team, like, I wish I could be here, but mm. business. I'm growing up. <coughs> oh, you're growing up. Comment on me growing up. Because I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so should I give you all life of <coughs> how I met you? Yes. So when I met Fagan, um, he was a big party animal. Um, Let's go and, quick. Okay, party animal. Um, used to go with his friends, come back five days later, his mom used five. to phone me. Yeah, okay, so two days. Um, two days later, his mom used to phone me to find out where is he, and then he comes back like nothing happened. Um, and that used to carry on for quite some time. And then... Um, but it dampened my soccer also. It did hamper your soccer, yes, because then you would be put on the bench or you wouldn't play and then you'd be upset like his mom and I used to be so, um, like, on our tippy toes because um, we know when they lose a game, 
then she and I used to go to the um, to the liquor store. Then we get him a pack, a six pack, a, a six pack of of oh, sound like a drunk brand, huh? of course, the lights because that was his downtime. And then on our way home, we don't talk. <laughs> we make sure that the beers are there, and we don't talk at all until he oh, talks to us. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't. That just, it wasn't more than that. No, yeah. no, I'm just anyway. Um, yeah, and you just used to party a lot. <coughs> like a, that used to be friends used to be first priority. Correct. Yes, um, until. But I was a quiet party anymore. You were. You were the life of the party, so it was great. Um, we completely different. Like we were yeah. opposite. But I used to like that about you because then I became not popular, but people knew me. <laughs> um, Did she or so? She's yeah, silly. yeah, um, and then yeah. So then, what what happened? So then, when did you turn the leaf? I think when Alex was born. No, when my mom passed. Oh, when away. your mommy passed away. Yes, at the same time I signed. But yes, and, and then, then like, oh. and then we got married, and then. Um, Still a bit. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, like with us, we always believed like you have your friends, I have my friends, mm. and we have our time together. So it was never a because being in your company would. It's, it's too much. We need to have our own lives separate from our lives together. And I think that is also very important in terms of support structure. Mm. Um, you need to have your own life. And I, and that is why I think we also dated for so long because I had my goals. You had your goals. Your goals would be to be a soccer player. I had ambition. You know, I wanted to become whatever I wanted mm. to become. And I was driven. So I was on that path. So, um, yeah, when usually when you're that age, then you are boyfriend mal and you you always around your boyfriend like i know all my friends used to be like that if they have a boyfriend then they only boyfriend that's all they do with their life boyfriend um but i had it's very mad that they would think that about you also but you were also doing your thing no i also did my thing yes like yes, i like your study thing and the teaching thing and the, yes. um, every other thing you had yes was I had a other thing. thing and that's why I always like with a then I was always playing and studying, playing and studying yes. and playing and doing something. And everybody else is playing and doing nothing. Yes. And playing and partying. Mm. Um, but you had like a holistic thing going and you had me to drive you. And I was also part of your motivation because you're not going to let someone be um, sort of thriving in, the, in my career when you are just lingering around there. So that also pushed you. And I think... Having a partner that is driven and focused pushes your partner to become better as well. <coughs> I think also our, we had to align at a certain point. Yes. In terms of like when it came to the, you're going to stick here and this bro want to send you down there. It doesn't matter with the money. When are we going to? When are we going to get married? When are we going to have some? There was substance? talk around marriage. Yes, marriage. Yes. Mm. Um, but I, I don't. I didn't think that. No, you it wasn't were, a pressure thing. It no, was it wasn't pressure. It was when you were ready. I knew it was when you were ready. Like I was ready long time, obviously. Um, but it was when you were ready because I didn't want to. Because I, people, females, a lot of females think that they can change the partners, mm. but you can't change them. They're not going to change. They're not going to. They're not. So, um, but you will change by yourself over time once. Um, I am a once your partner is a good example or showing growth, mm. then you would want to also grow. Oh yeah. So I think I was that driving force in your life. Jay fuck net die hele credit hier vanaan. Is ook die laaste keer wat jy kom. Excuse me, what do they say about that? Um, Don't come behind every strong man is a even stronger woman or whatever the thing is. No, no. That is one hundred percent true. No, we say no. Um, at the back. That means you second. You should be in front. No, I don't mind. You do you. Because you, what you are doing is for us. So, um, yeah. You. I'm just in front there to fight the war. There we go. Um, so I get all the score at the first. The man who's never fought a day in his life. Mm. Probably will fight the first. And that is a very good re you gave me for all the females out there mm. um, for support. Yeah. Um, I think we, <coughs> one thing I see, you, I see it's in your bio and I wrote it down, is that moving away from a patriarchal, matriarchal society where the man rule and the woman rule. And I think we have that equality mm. and we really focus on that. I think I get very irritated with, you know, I get very irritated with guys, my boys that don't clean. Mm. Um, I oh, I am so grateful for that because <laughs> I don't like to clean the toilet. And I'm, I'm just Thank like... you. And again, for everybody, as do as I do, if your son does not see you clean, 
remember this. If your son, I'm not even talking about your daughter, if your son does not see you doing the things, he's not going to do the things. Mm. He speaks about a boy in here that is that's handicapped. But he speaks about the boy so well and then he says he is behaviorally handicapped. And that is because of example. How's this one? Did I tell you this one that I have a new one? Tell me. I don't think that experience is the best teacher. And whoever's out there to wanna come to come at me with any years of experience, this is my analogy. The guy at the robot is loafing with money, sometimes he's like 60, 50 years old. He's never learned, he's more older than me, but he's not more experienced than me. I know that's like a deep example. So I want to say experience is what you learn by every day you're alive. Mm. But the best example, so experience is not like worse, but the best example, the best way to learn is example. When someone is an example, so like the be the change you want to see. So for us, I think it was the example. Um, for example, you don't do the parting. It's not you don't do, but we will be very like, remember we used to sit outside the parties. Mm. So uh, we sat outside some of your parties, my people, and then we decided we're not going in. And then we go home again. Because it's the same thing over and over and yeah, over Yeah, we should not play the whole party at tonight already before we go in. Yeah. And then we're like, nah, okay, now go home. home. Okay, can we just go buy something to eat on the way home? We go sit on the beach, we chill, we talk. Mm -hmm. um, and that became more productive. Even now people say, hey, you must go have fun. And we're talking about another mm -hmm. day. Hey, you must have fun. You're always busy with work. And I mean, Nantel touched on it. He said, like, you're not busy with work. We know we will literally rather sit on chat GPT and build a whole new curriculum for the school. Mm -hmm. um, and know that this is going to impact the future's future's future. Um, then go to... I don't know, go to Long Street and go have one night. But I think it's also important because it's not only Alex and Emily that we are, um, that we need to be a support structure too as to our children at Blask as well because they also come from parents who are not together or there's some issue going on. So we are the example. We are their parents as well. So we Locos have to parentes. do as we do. We have to do as we do, hundred yes. percent. And I mean, so that we can be a good support structure for them, which is also tough because it is it pressure. It is pressure. Um, it's pressure because they have their families. Um, mm. So sometimes we don't align with what we do and what we say. A lot of the time. A lot of the time, yes. So then we clash with the parents, but at the end of the day, it's yeah. the parents know we mean well, and yes, we are in it. For them, it's all about the child. It's not about anyone else. Correct, and, and that's I, what we base our lives on. Actually, I think it's for them. Yeah, and so I, they and can become better versions of themselves. So again, I always like to say, purpose feels liquor. Mm. So like when you see it, like the growth. Kim was speaking about the new students we have, and the there's a big difference between the new students and the students we have. But seeing the the, the students that are coming in, some of them are catching on quickly. This is how we do it here. And then just breaking the, un, sorry, the unlearning mm. of the new ones. Yes. Um, like I was having a discussion with the one boy today and I was telling him, like at this place, knowing things is quiet. Mm. Like that's the thing here. Like I know sometimes at mainstream, it's, most, it's all right, man. It's all right, you don't need to know that. But knowing everything is a good thing. Um, I had something I wanted to share with you. Oh, at Blask, we place emphasis on individual progress, not results. Yes. Um, and I think that's where we are with, with us or so. We just want to see progress. Yes. Every day. Because people are always looking for the results. Mm. So you have a 100% pass rate. It's all the children pass at the end of the year. Um, how are you guys doing? Looking for results. And we don't have results at the moment. Mm. But we have progress. Mm. And... I think now, even saying this now, I think success and progress have a lot in common because success was not getting the degree. I always say this. Success was going every day back to university. Even when you failed, you went back, you went back, you went back. The getting the degree was only the moment. Yeah. But going back every day, that's the success. Mm -hmm. um, so um, um, we're at the end of our, our tenure, uh, a year. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. Thank you. So like I said, 
we won't see you here again very often, very few times. <laughs> so you, everybody, you must very not... Very often, very few times. Very often, very few times. <laughs> In few times. <laughs> you know, that was laughing for myself when I was saying, um, crying McKnight. <laughs> oh, all the stupid stuff definitely to be clipped. So thank you for being my first guest. Uh, I called it. Um, I think people get a bit more into us, into the, the madness. And it's also, I like to explain to people, like, I am like I am. Yes, he really is like this. He's not different. That's also what people, they are one person when they're with their friends and they're another person when they're with whoever, with their partners. This one is the same all the time. He is like this, <laughs> even at home. <laughs> so I am like this Yeah, people. which I appreciate. Yeah, I see ansity. Yeah, don't pretend. I, I go like this. And the worst thing now is this can't be in certain circles at certain times. Like you don't smoke for a mentorship speech now during when you're drinking a beer around the fire. So then I don't come to the beer, the party around the fire anymore. Mm. Because who is smart to talk about leadership now? It was actually a very big step when you um, left your friends group. That I think was your turning point. Yeah. Where you grew up. Got so Fagan, Fagan has like a group of 20 friends. He always calls them his best friends that he grew up with and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then one day we were just going at each other, um, debating. And I chirped him on something to say that he wants me to look at, review my friends and their personalities and how they support me. And I was like, but you in a group of 20 people um, that Definitely. only criticize you and don't empower you. So, um, and then next thing I know, on his phone, what did you say? exit group, gone. Oh, no. They were so shocked that like, I, I still, I think, I don't know. Try to make you happy. <laughs> but I mean, that was that for me, that was something good because now, because it was a lot of noise. That's what it was. It was just a lot of noise and we need to be focused on what we need to do. Mm. Um, so that was something good. And I think that was your major turning point. 100%. Besides your mom, that was your next major turning point of growing up. Yeah. Yes. Leaving that. Correct. No gentlemen. offense to the friends. Um, I do like you guys. Like, <laughs> it's too late. He <laughs> means with your comments, I think. Oh, with salute, man. Owens, no, man. It's just unlucky guys, man. Uh, the, 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 the reason, and again, there's no Your reason. interests are different now. Correct. That's what it is. It's no. not anything on the person. Your interests are different. So, yeah, that's what it is. That's no, why you left. It's a, it's a perfect opportunity. <laughs> it's a spoken. Like, you know, it was like, yo, look at this freedom. You yeah. know what I mean? And then again, going and going, oh, Kim, you were right. Mm. Which is what we don't like to do as men. But I could have, wi I, I, I wished I had somebody in the, in the late 90s to tell me to have friends that, 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 it, that uplift you and not just criticize because mm. I had, I, you, when you said it now, I, I just, oh, I didn't, I have somebody just because I wasted time and I got mm. hurt at the end of the day. Yes. Un unnecessarily. But uh, it was COVID, I was bloody 30 odd, I was already 30. Yes, you know, yeah. I, was in my, I was in my late Same. teens or early 20s when I wished I would have just, somebody just clapped me, hey, mm. what's the one? Somebody you know how your mom always says, no, that I don't like their friend, their friend's not good for you. Oh. It's something like that. Like, I never used to take my mommy's advice, but when I look now, she was obviously right. Yeah. Like, she, a mom just knows, man. Yeah, I know. Um, they told me. Gosh, if she listens to this, I never ever admitted this. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but she just knows. So, but you as a, as a person, you won't take on that, um, that advice. But if you are mindful and aware mm. then you will see that what is good for you and what's not um yeah it is what it is man that's the experiences now i was telling i was telling the friend of mine who i met on sunday i was telling him it's difficult for me to explain to the kids <coughs> listen to this one it's difficult for me to explain to them to not be crazy without me saying how mad i was mm. i'm like bruh it's difficult because I was then mm. Mr. Mm. Thursday Night Galaxy, Mr. Party, Mr. Throw Party, said, oh, Mr. This, Mr. That. Yeah, but not everybody's going to get me. Yeah, I so know that, that. That's why. Like, you so that's what, but the do as I do becomes difficult for that, me. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. That, yeah. That's what I wanted to get to. The do as I do becomes difficult for me because now I say, no, look at the throw parties like this. Mm. And they say, oh my God. I also, also want to do that. I also want to do that. Yeah. 
So now I go But what do you always tell your brother? Like he can't he wants to do things like you, but he hasn't walked in your shoes. Something no, like you know, that. You, what do you say? Well, do things like me. I say, like, but I mean, you can't expect to do the same things and get this different, the same result. Yeah, that. Yeah. So if the same things, and now obviously he's brought, okay, now I need to, I mean, I always say it, yeah, I say it for you, fend it for himself. Mm. You know what I mean? Since, since, my mom, since my mom passed, that man, do not, so he's resilient. Mm. Like I don't don't think, uh, but he has support. But I mean, he's more resilient. Mm. Um, he can take that on. Yes. But he has support. Very important. That's what's important. Yes. Yeah. So we're going. We were going with the support and understanding. And your biggest turning point? Try turn it the old day. Ik turn it the old day. You just have moments. Yeah. Yeah. You were the momenter. Mm. Not a big moment. Momenter. Momenter. Yeah. You were momenter. Mm. But I'll take. I'll but take my that mom on. was the most. She's my support. Most influential. Mm. Just go. Just do what you want to do. She used to tell me, just do what you want to do and I'll support you. Doesn't matter what it is, you do it. Still. 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 We're going to go to the podcast tonight. Come, we're going to look after. And we only trust Auntie Sandy with our kids. Mm. Although we did give other people a attempt. But yes. No, they were fine. Mm. It's just that she stays, she can stay with him longer. That's the That's the thing. Mm. She yeah. knows how to handle the, yeah. that too is a crazy too. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we were end off and then you just threw the people under the bus Sorry. and you came back again and we're back again, you see? Then it allows us people. Mm. You got to reach out to uh, Cape Conscious Media, ladies and gentlemen, those people that are saying, hey, me bro, I also want to have a podcast. Cape Conscious Media, the drop, all this stuff is on there. Speak to the man, studio, everything, to my friends that misses me. It's quite <laughs> Yeah, I told you, this is real. Uh, and it's on TikTok now, so now you can see behind the scenes, it's really real. I thought I was sitting in a chair in a booth <laughs> uh -uh. Don't try. It's, it's, it's professional, yeah. So, to end off, um, thank you for the time. And we could get, thank you, Auntie Sandy, for looking after the kids. Um, you enjoyed yourself? I did, thank you. Did you say everything you wanted to say is on your page? Um, yeah. To speak now forever, hold your peace. No, I'm good, thank you. You're happy? You're I'm happy that I was your first, um, your guest. first guest, yes. I my feel important now. My first, my last, my everything. You see, dropping the lines again from the songs. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I must pull out a berry. I'm sick, berry worked on you uh, like back in the day. <laughs> so lastly, I'm going to end off with BLASK is an acronym. It's a verb. Do you want to say anything for what can the people expect? Oh, I like this question, actually, they drop. What can the people expect for, from you in 2023? 2023. From me? Yes, from Kim Muller. Oh my goodness. I hate it when you throw me with those things. Um, it's like a podcast question. Uh, a, I don't know. You don't know? Um, I don't know. I'll be doing lots of fundraising. So that's that will be me, frontline. What are you doing tomorrow? Yeah, so I'll be do, handing over our gifts. We done a give back about three, two weeks ago. Explain the give back quickly. What did we do? Um, we had a, a fives aside. Um, and then everybody had to bring toiletries and a teddy bear. And at the end of the game, we threw the teddy bears over into the field, which was great. Um, and yeah, that's what we did. So now I'm going to be handing over the um, the goodies to St. George's Home for Girls. So for those of you that do not know where to donate or give the give your old clothes to or whatever it is that you want to donate to, you can reach out to um, St. George's Home for Girls. That is my heart and soul. That's my baby. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. And that's what we, you will find me always if you need a place to yeah. give back. You can even contact Cape Conscious Media. They can reach out to Blast Academy. You can contact Blast Academic Hub directly. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take it from there. And next year, we're going to have that same give back, not five aside, 11 v 11, Legends game Cape on Athlone Stadium. Oh. No, Cape Town Stadium. No, I mean. Too big. Yeah, first. Okay, first Athlon first Stadium. Athlon Stadium, full, 35,000 people, 35, 35th minute, everybody throws a TDB on the stadium. They do it at Real Betis in Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, another brilliant uh, <coughs> evening, lots of uh, snippets for us and gems dropped. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We're out of here. Thank Great you. evening. The Fagan Miller Podcast. Peace. <laughs>